Our top stories tonight include riding exciting highs with Taylor Swift to the lows in the latest with Clemson football. Stay tuned to, until the end for a surprise update. I'm Colby Goodwin. And I'm Lexi Losher. Clemson News Now. <laughs> Eighty-seven plus thirteen equals one hundred percent, which is how much we are invested in the newly formed relationship between pop star Taylor Swift and 2022 Super Bowl champion tight end Travis Kelsey. Speculation of these two have been circling around for months, but thanks to the Eagles player and big mouth brother Jason Kelsey, it's safe to say maybe Taylor takes back that line she had about the boy on the football team. Pop culture recently shook the internet, especially with the update on the writer's strike. Hollywood tentatively ended one of the longest labor strikes. The Writers Guild of America, known as the WGA, seemingly reached a deal with big name entertainment companies. The board will vote in the upcoming days to determine if the strike will officially end. The end of the strike allows for daytime and nighttime shows, like the Drew Barrymore Show, to return on air within the next few days. According to the New York Times, the strike began back in May when 11,500 screenwriters walked out of their jobs. This was due to the underpayment and the threat of AI taking away their jobs. The agreement comes just five days before the strike would have been the longest in Guild history. More updates on this story to come. Drifting to Clemson news, this past Saturday, beloved pumpkin spice latte orders were placed on hold. On June 17th, the Tiger Boulevard Starbucks employees decided enough was enough. A letter to the manager of the chain stated, We have had partners been forced to deal with discrimination of race and illness. We have received drastic hour cuts and hours being allotted unfairly due to favoritism. We experience perpetual exhaustion from working shifts with coverage stretched too thin while accommodating Clemson University's students, end quote. Fortunately, the story became unionized this past August, protecting the workers' freedom of speech. To help the employees, be sure to show support and to not cross a picket line. Another popular refreshment location is arriving to downtown Clemson. All you health junkies, get ready for a new tea bar and meal replacement shake shop called Nutrition for Life. The shop will open their doors by Insomnia Cookies in downtown Clemson. Currently located in Anderson, this fast-growing shop offers a variety of refreshing teas and shakes. The shop is set to open in early October, just in time for their incredible pumpkin cinnamon shake. To keep up with their opening, follow them on Instagram at nutritionforlifesc. On the topic of the newest places in downtown Clemson, Roar has been the place to talk about. Roar, Clemson's newest bar, recently opened and has quickly become a crowd pleaser among students and even celebrities like Mark Wahlberg. This club-like bar brings a new nightlife to the area due to its high interest. Roar is owned and operated by Hector Weber and family. The family strives to create a different atmosphere than the competing bars around with amenities like VIP and private rooms, live music, and excellent tacos. If you are 21 and older, be sure to visit Roar and follow them on social media at Roar Clemson. Now here's Patrick to provide the latest and greatest in Clemson sports. Thanks, Colby. Plagued by reoccurring turnover and kicking problems, Clemson was handed its second ACC loss to number five Florida State. The Seminoles narrowly escaped the Death Valley with a 31-24 overtime victory. Running backs Will Shipley and Phil Moffa led the way with 146 rushing yards and two touchdowns. Freshman phenom Tyler Brown led the receiving core with five receptions and 84 yards. Quarterback Kate Klubnick looked poised as ever, totaling 283 yards in a passing touchdown. Defensively, the Tigers held their own against a high-powered Seminole offense, working as a unit to make key stops throughout the game. The biggest moment came late when Xavier Thomas had a huge sack, stopping the Florida State offense in their track. Clemson then had an opportunity to win the game with less than two minutes remaining, 
but Jonathan White's field goal attempt was no good, which led to overtime. Dabo Swinney and co. look to bounce back as they take on the undefeated Syracuse Orange on the road. Kickoff is set for noon in the Carrier Dome. The Clemson golf program has been doing great things as of late, and transfer Callahan Kiever just added to the list. The former Division II All-American finished third in a field of 100 at the JT Poston Invitational, over 54 holes. He had an overall score of 207 adding 15 birdies in the process. Kiever and the Tigers look to build the momentum at the Blessings Intercollegiate, starting October 2nd in Fayetteville, Arkansas. While most teams are on the road this week, the Clemson men and women's soccer team have two huge ACC duels at Historic Riggs. Friday night, the men look to get back on track versus Virginia Tech at 7 o'clock. Just 24 hours later, catch the red-hot women's soccer team take on Syracuse. After a fantastic road trip last weekend, the women sit at number eight in the country. Come out and get loud to cheer on your Tigers this weekend. Back to you, Colby. Nearly 20 people per minute are physically abused by an intimate partner in the United States. One in four women and one in nine men experience domestic violence from a partner every year. These real statistics are why Clemson staff and students are raising awareness during the month of October, which is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. It's On Us, a student-run organization supporting survivors of interpersonal violence, will host a candlelight vigil on October 26th. For more details and ways to show support this month and every month, follow It's On Us on Instagram at It's On Us CU. Heading back to Clemson's campus, the moment every student has been waiting for has arrived. The improved library bridge. Following its completion of construction and renovation, students at Clemson University will undoubtedly marvel at the new Daniel Hall as they walk past using the newly remade library bridge. Construction work began back in May of 2021, and now many university students are finally taking courses again in the familiar classrooms of Daniel Hall. Clemson's goal to expand and renovate its campus is evidence of the university's positive growth over the years. With Clemson's homecoming week approaching, lots of exciting events are occurring across campus. Jay Ron, how is the weather looking for next week? Our weather forecast for the Clemson area will experience clear sunny skies with temperatures in the low to mid 80s for the coming week. Perfect for all homecoming activities and float building. Expect to feel low 60s in the early hours of the day. We are set to have a beautiful week ahead of us as we enter the month of October. Back to you, Lexi. This homecoming marks the 30th anniversary of a tradition for the Pickens County Habitat for Humanity. During the homecoming float builds, students come together yearly to help build a house for a low-income family. Throughout this tradition, over 10,000 volunteers have taken part in the house build. As homecoming celebrations conclude, a professional mover arrives to relocate the house to its permanent new residency. Tigers continue to work alongside the future homeowners until the house is habitable for the family. Habitat for Humanity is a great way to get involved and give back. More information can be found on the Tiger Quest website. Another exciting homecoming event will occur on campus. The 67th annual Tiger Rama is coming to Death Valley Stadium. Taking place this upcoming week on Friday, October 6th, Tiger Rama is a student-run pep rally during homecoming week. On Friday, expect to see spectacular performances from student organizations, appearances from the football team, crowning Miss Homecoming, and Mr. and Mrs. Clemens. Tigers will also have the chance to see music artists Waka Flocka Flame perform with Tiger Rama's space theme called Beyond the Paw. The name describes that Clemson is a place where anything in the universe is possible. Proceeds from ticket sales will go towards the Tiger Rama Scholarship Endowment, and tickets are available now on Library Bridge until Friday. We wrap up tonight with some exciting news. With preparations for Miss Homecoming underway, college organizations all across the Clemson's campus nominate a candidate to compete for the crown. For the first time ever, Tiger Vision has a representative of our very own. Now over to Rachel Golden to tell you some more. Thank you, Lexi. I'm so honored to be representing Tiger Vision at this year's homecoming pageant. It's been so exciting feeling like a pioneer to an amazing line of strong future Tiger Vision representatives. 
Each contestant has worked diligently to put on this amazing show for everyone. The Miss Homecoming pageant is on October 4th at 7.30 p.m. in Little John Coliseum. I highly encourage everyone to come out and support each of our beautiful girls, even if it is through donations. If you would like to support me and the Tiger Vision organization, we will provide the link for the tickets and donations below this video. Be sure to include my name, Rachel Golden, when checking out as the person you are supporting. Thank you so much for having me on this episode, and I hope to see you there. Thank you, Rachel. We'll see you next time. I'm Colby Goodwin. And I'm Lexi Losher, Clemson News Now.